tough words today from Wisconsin's Assembly Speaker as he painted a bleak picture for Wisconsin Republicans if Donald Trump is their nominee for next year's election. Political reporter Will Keneally has more from the Capitol. Charlotte, we're actually a few months away from the first Republican presidential primary, which will be in August in Milwaukee. And ahead of that, we heard from Assembly Speaker Robin Voss today, who says who he doesn't want to see emerge from that primary. I imagine at the time, if the captain of the Titanic could go back six hours ahead of time and warn himself like, hey, this isn't going to work out well, he would have probably adjusted the ship. The iceberg in Speaker Voss's metaphor here is former President Donald Trump. Well, we have that chance now as Republicans to look and say, we know what's happening, we know how this is going to end, we can turn course and pick somebody else and probably win. He says as it stands now, there is no chance Trump could win in Wisconsin. Republicans here have simply moved on. And he says the same thing about Republicans looking to challenge Senator Tammy Baldwin next fall, that they should stay away from the Trump mindset. But we also heard today an admission that you don't often get from politicians. I said sometimes elected officials have to look the taxpayers in the eye and say I screwed up, right? And that is why I should have never hired Mike Gableman. That's the former Supreme Court justice who spent about a year investigating fraud tied to the 2020 election. Now, of course, no widespread fraud was found. And after running up a bill for taxpayers in the millions, he was mocked by Voss. Mike Gableman is an embarrassment to the state. Now, if you remember back to 2020, there was a small push by Republicans in the legislature to have the legislature overturn the state's election results. Now, Voss spoke to that today, saying that he will not let that happen going forward, saying that he wants that power to remain outside the state legislature. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now.